Hello, I'm Dr. Skinner, one of the cardiologists here at Celine Memorial Hospital. And February is American Heart Month, so I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about cardiac arrest and what that means, and also to show you how to use an AED. So for those who don't know, cardiac arrest is when the heart stops beating, or essentially when someone goes unresponsive um, from a dangerous heart rhythm. And in that situation, the blood is not circulating to all the vital organs, such as the brain. One of the causes of cardiac arrest is a heart attack. The two most important things when someone goes into cardiac arrest is early initiation of chest compressions only CPR and also having access to an AED. So chest compressions are essentially what is going to help circulate the blood when the heart is not beating um, and help perfuse those vital organs. And the AED can also provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to do CPR and what to do next, but also help shock an irregular, dangerous heart rhythm. So let's just say someone in front of you um, goes into cardiac arrest. What may happen is they go unresponsive, they fall to the ground, you notice that they have stopped breathing, and then they have no pulse. So the first thing that you'll want to do is uh, have someone else or yourself if no one is around to call 911 and get emergency medical help right away. If someone can go and grab an AED, it's usually someone else. You do need some help typically and this is what it looks like. So as someone else again is doing those chest compressions, so all you're going to do is press that power button and then open the device and follow the prompts. So your first thing is it wants you to attach the pads and they have nice stickers on there with pictures on what to do and where to place the pads. Okay, so now that the pads are on, it's gonna tell you to initiate CPR. So the device itself will walk you through each of the prompts, um, getting the pads on, doing CPR, making sure that you're doing those chest compressions nice and strong. And then it will also prompt you when it's gonna try to analyze the heart rhythm. And um, if there is a dangerous heart rhythm that led to the cardiac arrest, or at some point the patient has that dangerous heart rhythm, it's going to let you know that it's gonna to wanna to deliver a shock. And if that's the case, it will tell you to all clear and, and then trigger off um, on the button here to deliver a shock and you will push that button and it will deliver the shock and then afterwards it will tell you to reinitiate CPR and essentially you're going to continue this until uh, emergency medical services is able to take over. So again time is really important in a cardiac arrest situation and doing early CPR and having access to an AED is extremely helpful to have the best outcomes possible in a cardiac arrest situation. And really the ultimate goal is to get that person as quick as possible to the hospital.